this is how to line up properly when you're using the three line method when you're reverse parking. Counting one, two, and that's the third line. A lot of people make mistakes while they're using the three line method when they're reverse parking in their driving test. A lot of times they would stop around there, but the mirror has never got to the third line. So they would claim that they see the line lining up with the mirror from their point of view. So if they are, you know, seated in the driver's seat, obviously, if they see the mirror lining up with the line, that's wrong, okay? You have to get to the actual line, okay? So your mirror must be lined up physically with the line if you want to use that method. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to reverse properly, okay? So just ensure that your mirror reaches a line, but you can also overshoot slightly, okay? All right? Just to ensure that you are not doing any static turning, which some people call dry steering, okay? So what you would do then, go back straight to compensate, and this is when you would start to steer, okay? So when the line and the mirror align, so that's the entire trick. And now if I start to turn, and I fully lock, And of course, if I check my rear view in the little bubble mirror, it'll show me exactly where I am. Also, stretch up, don't sink into the seat, your posture must be right. And if, as long as you do this, you're gonna end up correctly inside of your bay. When you get parallel, you straighten up twice. And that's it, you know, you don't do anything more. So as long as you line up correctly, you can never go wrong. You have to physically line up the mirror and the line. If your vehicle is longer, clearly you would have to work out the geometry. So check out our other videos on how to reverse park a sedan, you know, a large sedan and a small sedan. Sometimes you'd, you would go slightly further than the third line, but sometimes you, you would go four lines. And even I'm shooting a video how to reverse a four wheel drive as well. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.